Good morning, everybody. It is the 20, no, today is the 30th of March. Can you guys believe we're already through the holidays, heading right into spring? So um, today is my 149th recorded video. Tomorrow we hit 150 recorded videos for this year. I started doing these live workouts on Zoom March of last year, and we've done some live workouts and some videos that didn't get recorded, but this is our 149th today. If you would like to be a part of my 150th um, workout tomorrow, um, hit me up. I can give you the Zoom code for that, so just message me, text me, um, post something after this video, and I can give you that Zoom recording um, code. So tomorrow, 150th live Zoom workout, and they're all for free. So today we're gonna to be using um, our exercise band. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. We're doing a 20 minute core workout. This will just give you a little bit of abduction, meaning a little bit more of lower core work. So if you think of your core, it is not just here. Your core is actually this entire space from your chest all the way down into your upper thighs. So you gotta think of pelvic floor, hips, glutes, obliques, um, abdominals, of course, um, your lats, and part of your chest. So that is all your core. So this is gonna help give you a little bit more of that lower pelvic region squeeze and um, tightening. Because think about it, if you're carrying a box, and it's a very rigid, stiff box, and the bottom falls out, it doesn't matter how strong the sides and the top are, right? Same with your core. If you have a, a weak pelvic floor, then it doesn't matter how strong the rest of this is. You need to work from here up. So this will help. Okay, so we're gonna start just um, standing up today. You're gonna grab that band. We're just gonna hang on to it and use it the whole time. Let me start my watch. We've got 20 minutes here. So reach up and bend over and up and tip over and up and tip over and up and tip over. Just starting to activate those obliques, getting that spine moving. Inhale up and exhale down. I think Lacey's on with me. Hi, Lacey. Up and over. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on up. Come to a flat back. Holding that band out. Now your shoulders are up around your neck. Pull the shoulders down your spine. And come up and down, hold, taking that booty back, knees are soft, and come up, and come down, hold, stretching out those hamstrings a little bit, and come up, getting those hips activated, and down, one more, and up. So you're probably feeling this in your shoulders, that's good. Now we're gonna twist our torso. So our legs stay forward. You're gonna twist your torso, reach up, and then swing down like a wood chopper to the outside of the opposite leg. And swing up and twist, and swing down. And swing up, and down. Four more. And 10, swing over the other side, twist the other direction. We've got 10 over here, here we go. Swing down past your leg. Oh, that leg is tight. You should be able to feel where you're tight, whether it's your low back, mid back, upper back, hips, glutes,
Inhale up, exhale down. Three more. And three. And we're going to put this band on our legs now. So step into it. <clears throat> I always think I'm going to fall down and kill myself when I do this. I have pretty decent balance, but for some reason, whenever I'm going to put this band on, I always freak out. Okay, you're going to bring that band up to mid-thigh. So it's between the knee and the hip, midway up. We're going to do some rotations, but we're also going to do some ab abduction, pushing out. That is going to help with hip flexion, hip mobility, but it's also going to help start to activate that lower pelvic floor. So I think this is up a little too high. So you're going to come down into a squat, and you're going to hold those knees out just beyond the feet, not way, way out here, just beyond the feet, and we're going to twist and twist, and twist. Twisting from the torso, hips do not move. So thinking of, about wringing out a towel. You can even give yourself a little push with those fingertips. Keeping that chest up, booty down, not real low. You can get lower if you want, but keep those knees pushed out. Three, two, one, come center. And now you're going to press. Bring the chest up. Legs are gonna be on fire real quick. 10, nine, squeeze the glutes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Oh, my legs are fried already, so. Okay, so lower that bit band just above the knees, and we're gonna be doing some knee lifts. So you're gonna be driving the knee up into the chest, and you're going to bring the opposite shoulder down. Think of a bicycle that's standing. So you're gonna bring the opposite shoulder down to that knee and come back here. Here we go, bring it down. Down. Five, four, three, two, one, other side. Here we go. Five to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide that band back up just slightly. Bring those feet in hip width. We're gonna do that same pressing, but now the feet aren't so far out. So you're gonna have a little bit more mobility in getting those hips out. Come on down, push those knees out a little further, and twist, and twist, and twist. Squeeze the glutes, pull the abs in tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Going down, we're doing those wings. Here we go, everybody down. Ready? Nice and slow this time. Press out and in. Try to keep your feet flat. Like I just noticed, I turned on my feet. Don't turn on your feet. Push the knees out and in, keeping the feet flat. Out, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. We're gonna start speeding it up here. A little faster. 
Get a little lower, a little faster. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. So you may be wondering, why are we doing legs if this is core? Because this works up into the core. So when we go to the floor, your legs are going to be activated, which is going to help activate the lower part of your core. Here we go. One more time with those twists, those knee drives. We're going to the floor. Here we go. Really throw that chest down. Power. Use those abs. Pull that belly button in every time you twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Here we go. My band started rolling up. Power. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. My band rolled up, but that's okay. If that happens at any point, just keep moving. Go into the floor. Here we go. Everybody down. Oh. Okay. So we are going to do your basic ab crunch, pushing the knees out while we do it. So you're going to feel the difference with that compared to squeezing the knees together when we do those. And I want to just do a few of those just to really activate the hip flexors and the lower parts of the abs. So coming up, legs are at tabletop. Band is just above the knee. Just above the knee, not at the knee, above the knee, please. Okay, legs are together comfortably, head is up, elbows are out. Now I want you to push those legs out. Don't let them just fall open, but push out, trying to keep those feet up. Don't let the feet flop to the sides. Okay, holding here, you should already be activated. Now from here, we're gonna crunch up even higher. Ready, go, up, up. Lift the chin toward the ceiling, not toward your knees. Hard to squeeze the glutes here, you can't do it. Ten. Three, two, one. Bring the knees together. Don't put the feet down. Now, the band is not going to be tight here, but I want you to squeeze the knees together and squeeze the ankles together and don't let go. Rest the head for a second. Elbows go back. Squeeze those knees together, lift the head and the shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and crunch. Up, up, up. Exhale at the top. Don't forget to squeeze those knees. Squeeze those ankles. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You may have felt some burning in your low abdominals, but that's okay. They're working. Okay. Whew, those got me hot. Okay, we are going to do a broken down bicycle. So we're going to break it down to slower movements. Band stays just above the knees. So extend one leg out, one leg in. You're pushing that knee out. Now this other foot isn't just flopping. The leg is active and you're pulling it in and you're twisting your torso toward that knee and you're holding. We're at the stoplight right now. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Knees together, roll back on your back. Lower the head if you need to take a neck break. 
Come back up with that head, extend the other leg, keep that other leg active and twist and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring those knees together, lower the head if you need to, and other side. Come up, extend, hold that leg up, don't let the leg just flop, and hold. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back center, lower the head. Whoa, the knees come up, extend the leg, keep that leg active. Both legs go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come center. Lower the head, relax the hands for a second. You can even let the legs flop or bring them down. So now we're gonna do that a little faster. We're gonna go with a count of, instead of 10 for the hold, we're gonna flow through each move for the count of five. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, back center. Here we go. Make sure you don't let that leg flop that's pulled in. And go, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice and deliberate and come back. Twist and pull in and back. This takes the momentum completely out of it and you have to focus on the abdominals and the leg push. Getting those legs engaged, activating the lower part of that core. Two more. Last one on each side. And lower. Nice job. My band split up. Nice job. We're done with bicycle for now. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Gosh, we've already got 15 minutes. I am starting to sweat though. So now we are going to practice a little bit of abduction. So you may have felt that more through the middle, like right around your belly button. We're gonna try to activate more of the pelvic floor now. So we're gonna keep that band on. If you wanna make it even more difficult, you can put the band lower on your calf. Never put it at your knee. That's a lot of pressure on your knee. I like to keep it up at my, um, above my knee. I feel like I get a better abduction, but if you wanna put it down lower, you can try that. So you're gonna come up and you're gonna balance. Band isn't really tight right now. I'm kind of holding on with my arms. So the band isn't really doing anything right now. You're gonna take those hands behind your neck. As you crunch those elbows between the knees, you're gonna push those knees out, 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 out. Out, out, not a real pretty move, <laughs> but effective. <sighs> Keeping that chest up. Don't pull the head down to the floor. We're well, almost up. Don't pull the head to the floor. Keep your head just going forward and back. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one, set the heels down. Oh, you should have felt that all through the hip, into your pelvis. Oh, that was painful. We're not done though. Okay, if you wanna try, go down here. You gotta push out a little harder because now you got the lever or the, the pressure down the lever. So it's gonna be a little more difficult. Hands go back, bring those feet up and press out. Five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Oh, hip flexors. Yeah. Whew. 
Bring that band, if you slow it down, bring it back up above the knees. Whew. Okay, we are going to do some alternating reaches. So we're gonna come down and lift and reach. So you're gonna have the band. It's gonna give you a little bit of resistance. You can put it down here if you want. You're gonna come down to your low back, or yes, to your low and mid back. Heels are down, arm goes back, reach for that toe. Elbows come back, reach for the toe. Join me when you're ready. Five more. Four more. Last one. And rest. Nice job. Rolling onto your side. We're almost finished. 20 minutes is all we're doing today. Okay, so we're going to do some rotation here on our hip with a straight leg. The top leg is off the bottom leg. Bottom leg is tight. It is not just hanging out watching TV. Tighten that leg up all the way through the foot. So my foot is activated. Quad is hard. Top leg is engaged. I'm not watching TV sinking into my shoulder. I'm pushing up and away. You're going to reach for that foot to the side and press up. Press up. Press up. Using the obliques, hand is just for support. And 10. Set that back foot down. We're doing the same thing with the front leg. Get that front leg up, back leg is active, reach. Nine and 10, roll back onto that hip. Both feet are coming off the ground. Using the oblique and the hip, lift that top leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whoo! Flip it over. Rolling up onto that leg, tighten that bottom leg up. Top leg is tight and off the, off the bottom leg. Reaching, remember this is just for support. You're pulling from the oblique. Ready? Go up. Two. And one, set that back leg down, tight and engaged, get the top foot up and reach. Nine and 10, roll onto those hips. Both legs come off the ground, don't sink into the shoulder, top leg pulses, go. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. You should have felt that right at your hip all the way up into the oblique, hopefully. Last thing we're doing. We've been talking about this pelvic floor a lot, so we are going to do some pelvic floor work directly. 
take the band off. I just wanted to turn around, I don't know why. Okay, just put the band down. It's just too much to think about. You are going to come up into a V-up and you're gonna squeeze those knees together and you're going to push like someone is holding your knees and you can't release and you're gonna push that out. You can use your own hands, but you may need your hands for balance because your feet are coming off the ground, but we're gonna try some here first. So squeeze, put the legs together and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I want you not to squeeze here, I want you to squeeze all the way into the pelvic floor. So for anyone that's been a mother, you know those kegels, that's what you're doing. Squeeze in. Now, put your hands here and I want you to keep squeezing that pelvic floor as you push out on those hands. And then squeeze back together, put the hands there and push out. Arms are working to keep your legs from pushing out. Squeezing up that pelvic floor the whole time. Squeeze, you're not really squeezing the glutes. You're squeezing right between the legs. Squeeze, you may feel like it's like, hmm, I don't really know how to do that. A lot of people don't know how to do that. And you may feel a lot of fluttering. It's because it's weak. So you need to work on this. Okay, so we're doing it from here now. Legs come up, hands go next to the legs. First, squeeze the legs in for 10, 9, Kegel, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep squeezing up that center line and push out. 10, 9, keep pushing. 8, 7, 6, 5, hold. 4, 3, 2, 1. Squeeze those legs back together. Squeeze up that pelvis. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push out. Ten, nine. Now I'm squeezing my glutes as well as my pelvic floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on back. Squeeze again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, push out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and come back, hold, squeeze up that center line. Think of zipping up your body right at the middle, 10, hands are out, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Whew. Nice job, you guys. So a lot of people don't talk about pelvic floor. Doctors don't tell you about pelvic floor after you've had babies. And a lot of people, a lot of women have post-pregnancy uh, um, incontinence. So this is something you can do to help strengthen that. Um, you can also do what I call the elevator, which I learned from uh, uh, she was an OBGYN, but she was also a fitness trainer, where you do that Kegel or that pelvic squeeze slowly like you're going up an elevator and then you come back down it. It's very hard to do without squeezing the glutes, but that's what you want to try to do. If you want more information about this or if you want another couple exercises to do for pelvic floor, hit me up. I know we've got a lot of moms out there. So I hope you like this. Tomorrow, 150th workout. Thanks, you guys, for being on with me. I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.